Hello friends, welcome to NCS Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze variable temperature boundary condition on a wall and it is going to be a transient analysis. It is a 2D pipe geometry in which water is flowing at, at the bottom wall at a certain section which is subjected to alternative temperature which changes in every 10 seconds. And it is, we have selected a 60 seconds of time period in which we are going to analyze the various temperature at various time steps. First create the geometry in ANSYS design modeler. So this is, this is a 2D geometry. So we are selecting analysis type as 2D. Now proceed for creating the geometry in an ANSYS design modeler. Select the unit as millimeter. Select the XY plane to draw this geometry. Draw a rectangle starting the first point from the origin. Now put the dimension of the rectangle. Put the length as 200 mm and the width is 25 mm, click on generate. Now we are going to split this bottom half, bottom part of this rectangle to create the heated wall section. For this go to modify tool. And select split option. And select split or select and click at two points on this rectangle. I click on generate. Now we are going to put the dimension of this first section and we are going to impose the same length constants at the latter end of this rectangle. So go to constant and select equal length. Select the first half then the third half. Now this is these are two equal lengths. Now we are going to put this length of this first section. This is 50 so that the middle section will be 100. 50 both side then it would be 100. So that total length will be 200. Now we are going to convert this 2D sketch into a 2D geometry. For this go to concept tab and select surface from sketches. Select this sketch, click on apply then click on generate. A 2D surface is generated or required geometry is complete. So close this one and proceed for meshing. Open the meshing window. Now right click on this mesh and select go to insert and select sizing. Select the edge sizing option. Select the top edge. Then click on apply. Select the type as number of divisions and enter the number of divisions up to 200. Insert another sizing. Select the inlet and outlet section and click on apply and select the type as number of divisions. Enter the number of divisions up to 25. Now go to meshing and select the face meshing option. Insert another sizing. For the bottom two edges, for the bottom edges, select the two edges, enter the number of divisions up to 50, insert another sizing and select the heated section or the middle section, enter the number of divisions up to 100. Now right click on this mesh and click on generate mesh. The mesh, uniform mesh has been generated. Now we are going to put the various named selection to this various boundaries. Select this edge and name it as inlet. Similar select the out other end. Name it as outlet. 
select the top edge and name it as top wall. Select this middle section, middle edge, name it as heated wall. Now select the first half of this edge and name it as bottom wall 1. Then select the other end and name it as bottom wall 2. Now all the name selection has been complete. This is the inlet, this is the outlet, top wall, heated wall, bottom wall 1 and bottom wall 2. Okay. Now go to meshing, right click and select update mesh. Now the mesh will be linked with the fluent server. Now close this meshing and open the setup that is the fluent server setup. Select the double precision model and click on start. Now first go to models, turn on the laminar model. Now go to energy equation, turn on the energy equation. Now go to materials, we are going to add, uh, we are going to use water in this simulation. So we are going to add the water from this fluent material database. Select the water liquid, click on copy then close. Click on change create then close. Now water liquid has been added from this library, material library. Now go to cell zone conditions, select the surface body, click on edit. Now we are going to assign the fluid material into this cell zone, select the water liquid and click on apply, then close. Now we are going to put the various boundary conditions, select the bottom wall, it is should be adiabatic wall, we are not going to put any thermal boundary condition, only keep it as adiabatic wall with heat flux is equal to 0, click on apply then close. Similarly, the bottom, bottom wall 2, keep the same, adaptive wall condition. Apply then close. For the heated wall, we are going to put this variable temperature wall boundary condition. We will put this letter. First assign all these boundary conditions. Select the inlet and put the inlet velocity for the water at 0 0.0001 meter per second. Click on apply. Temperature should be in 300 Kelvin normal atmospheric temperature and close. At the outlet keep the default pressure outlet boundary condition. For the top wall put the same adaptive wall condition. And for the heated wall we are going to impose this variable temperature boundary condition. So let us see how we are going to put this various variable boundary condition over here. Before that save this setup till now. So let us see how to write this table variable table data. For this you need to create a text file in this folder. Your ANSYS file folder then dp0 then fff then fluent and make sure the file name you are using that should be used same in this text file. Now open the text file and write down the code like this, like the, the data like this format, temperature then put a space, temp is the file name, 2 is the number of parameters that we are going to use. How to write this one, we have a detailed video regarding this. You can get this video link in this description. We are going to put 7 parameters and it should be periodic. So we are keeping 1. Now we are putting first time, then we are placing the temperature. 
so that time then temperature now for the time select 0 then click on tab and put the temperature value as 300 kelvin then time 10 10 second temperature is 300 kel 10 kelvin at 20 the temperature is again 300 kelvin at 30 second the temperature is 320 kelvin then at 40 second temperature is 300 kelvin at 50 the temperature is again 30 kelvin at 60 the temperature is 300 kelvin these are our seven data so we are going to put into this solver save this one and place this text file in this folder which is working folder of dp0 fff and fluent save this one and close now go to fluent console space write down file and then press enter then write read hyphen transient hyphen table then click on enter then it is asking for file name name this file as tem.txt as you have named it as earlier then it has loaded successfully now we are going to put this temperature over here go to temperature and select udf for profile over here here we can see two variables you have chosen so it is shown over here this temperature temp temperature over here it has selected this one then click on apply then close now we'll see how it will work in this ANSYS fluent for this to make to uh, keep eye on this we have to put a report definition so during the solving process it will show us how the temperature is changing with respect to time we create a report definition select new select surface report and select the facet average then select the variable as temperature select the heated wall as the surface then click on ok this is our report definition during the iteration process it is going to show us the variation of this temperature with respect to time then close this one this available report definitions click on up add over here you can see at x axis it is flow time and y axis it is the facet average of temperature then click on ok go to monitors and select residuals decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 click on ok we are going to save this solution for each time step now go to initialization select standard initialization then click on initialize go to run calculation page enter the number of time steps as 600 and time time step size as 0 0.1 so that it would be a total 60 second uh, simulation time then click on calculate it would take some time calculation is complete now this is our variation of this temperature with respect to time we can see over here you can save this image 
actually the camera icon over here. Select the format, image format you want. Select the color, either you want to monochrome or colors chart. Select the white background and select this windows image size of this image. Select the location where you want to save this file. This is the output of this result. How your temperature is varying with respect to time as per our input. Now close this one and proceed for CFD post processing result. Insert a new contour. Select the location as symmetry 1 and variable as temperature. Select the local range, number of contours as 100, then click on apply. These are temperatures at 60 seconds and this bottom wall. We are going to change this legend bar. Now we are going to see this animations of this temperature variation on this bottom wall starting from time t is equal to 0 up to t is equal to 60 seconds. Move this slider to this beginning point. This is the starting temperature at temperature is equal to 0. Save this. You can also save this animation. This is the our result and animations starting from temperature is equal to 0 and how temperature is varying like this. After 20 seconds temperature is dropping then again it is rising out to temperature of 40 then it is again dropping as per our input. Let us conclude this demonstration. Hope you have liked this video. If you have any doubt or any comments then please comment below. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. Hi for our video if you like this video. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.